Welcome to Global Mind Pub. In this episode, we will discuss the chakras of the earth. Um, yes, because just as the body has chakras, so does the earth have. And there are two primary theories about the earth chakras. The first one is from Robert Kuhn, and I tried to get information about him, but there wasn't much on the web, because yeah, he's pretty much anonymous, but you can try it yourself looking up this name, Robert Kuhn. I was on a Swedish site to find this information, so for those of you who know Swedish can find, find it, and I will link this site in the description below. And the second person who has a theory about the Earth Chakras is Richard Nilsson, who also works as a medium. That is a person that says to have contact with the spirit world and can, uh, can give messages in between those worlds, the, this physical world and uh, the spirit world. So, we start with the first chakra. The first chakra is called the root chakra, and it's located in Shasta, according to Robert Kuhn, Mount Shasta in the United States, and in Lure, Australia, according to Bridget Nielsen. So, that's the first chakra. The second chakra, the sacral chakra, is located in Titika Lake, near Machu Picchu, according to Robert Kuhn and Bridget Nielsen. So they are agreeing with each other on that point. The third chakra, the solar plexus chakra, is located in Luru, slash Fuji, Japan. So according to Robert Kuhn, it's located in Luru, and according to Bridget Nielsen, it's located in Fuji, Japan. So the fourth chakra, the heart chakra, is located in Glastonbury, which is in England, according to Robert Kuhn, but it's located in Hawaii, according to Bridget Nielsen. And the fifth chakra, the neck chakra, is located at the greatest, at the largest pyramids of Giza in Egypt, according to Robert Kuhn, but according to Bridget Nielsen, it's, it's located in Glastonbury. And the sixth chakra, the forehead chakra, actually changes place all the time, but as of right now, it's located in Glastonbury in England. And the seventh chakra, the crown chakra, is located in Kailash in Tibet, uh, according to Robert Kuhn, but Mount Chasta in the United States of America, according to Bridget Nielsen. And here I have drawn a map of the, the chakras. So we have the first chakra, the root chakra, in Mount Chasta in the United States. Then you have the sacral chakra in Titika Lake, near Machu Picchu in Peru. And then you have uh, the solar plexus chakra in Australia, Uluru, and Fuji, so Japan. And then you have the heart chakra in Glastonbury, and the neck chakra in the Great Pyramids of Giza, and the sixth chakra in Glastonbury as well, but it changes place, so yeah. And the crown chakra, the seventh, is in Kailash in Tibet. So, that's about it. I just wanted this to be an introduction to the earth chakras, or the chakras of the earth, because most people don't know that the earth has chakras as well, just as the body, but yeah, now you do. So, this was just an introduction, and I will be covering more things like this in the future, such as Hartman lines, ley lines, and Puri lines. These are energy lines that bind the earth together, and form like an energy system of the earth. But you could wonder if the body has chakras and the earth has chakras, does our solar system as well have chakras? Or have chakras? So that answer I haven't found yet. Maybe it has, but maybe we're not we're not so advanced to be able to make those uh, discoveries as of right now. But for now I think it's enough to know that the body has chakras and the earth has chakras as well. So thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you thought it was interesting and informational to you. So have a great day!